What's up everyone, it's Simon, and today we are talking about the Think Tank Photo Freeway Long Haul 75. If you've been in the photography industry for the last 15 plus years, you probably have heard the name Think Tank Photo. And it was honestly my first camera bags that I purchased. Uh, I swear by their stuff for certain uses. Uh, their roller bags are my favorite. I've had one for 13 years and it looks basically brand new. Uh, they are great, well-built products and I am not being paid a lick to say this. I just really enjoy their products. And a couple years ago, they branched out of the camera bag industry when they launched this thing, which is the Freeway Long Haul series. And it is their like everyday tote that is probably my ultimate favorite tote type bag ever. Uh, it is massive. I will say that. They also make a smaller version the 50, which only has two sections, but we'll get into that in a second. Anyways. This thing is amazing. Um, I didn't know exactly what I was gonna use it for, but I loved the concept of it, and so I bought it when they did a Kickstarter, and I am glad I did, because as I jumped back into skiing, this became my go-to bag for skiing. Uh, all of my ski stuff, except for my like Avi and that kind of stuff, is in this bag, so I can literally just grab this bag and walk out the door and have everything at my fingertips. Uh, there's all sorts of organization. We've got a zipper pocket up front. We've got pockets on both sides. This side is mesh, uh, which is nice if I have something that's wet and I wanna make sure it gets air. This side is not mesh, so I don't care as much. And then there's a pocket all the way on the back as well. Super handy. Also, there's a zip shut lid if you want it, and you can also zip it and tuck it into the bag if you don't want to use it at all. Um, and then, look at this, all of this space. Um, so this is literally all of my ski stuff. And basically what I have is, in the middle are my helmets. Uh, I keep two helmets because brain buckets, you don't want to you don't want to sacrifice on safety for the noggin. It's the most important part of the human body, in my opinion, to protect. Um, so I've got two different helmets. Usually one is set up for like a slightly warmer climate. One, I because I'll take the earpieces off, that kind of thing. Um, I also have one set up to shoot on GoPro because I've been having some fun with that. And then on this end, it is literally just gloves. It's different weight gloves, it's different style gloves. Uh, and then I also keep my head covers as well. I love these full head uh, balaclava type things. I've also got some buffs in here, um, but I can literally keep all sorts of options because temperature changes throughout the day and sometimes you wanna change up what you've got on you for skiing. Um, and I literally just have, I think I have seven pairs of gloves in there of different weights, sizes, whatever, um, super handy. And then on this end, I've got, this is my ski goggles, and then I keep jackets on the other end as well. Back inside. One of the other cool things is, there are these Velcro pockets on the inside dividers. And in one side, I keep my Avi beacon. And the reason for this is when I'm getting ready to go out, if I'm going back country, this comes out when I leave my house and goes onto my person, stays on my person, and then when I get home and bring the bag inside, this goes back into the bag. But that way I'm never caught without it. It's always with all my ski stuff. If you are a backcountry skier, you know the deal. Um, on the other side, because of course both dividers have it, I keep passes for different resorts because, of course, every resort uses a different RFID card. And so I have three different RFID cards that basically get refilled whenever I go to a resort. Uh, whether I'm working on a job or something, I'm able to use that card and 
refill it whether I'm paying for it or I am doing a job and they just want me to have that so that they don't have to print out another one because they're usually like five or ten dollars a piece. Uh, one of the other cool things is if I wanted to I could remove some of these dividers and just make it a two section bag. Obviously for my use this works perfectly but you can adapt it which is one of the best things about everything tank bag in my opinion and yeah it's also not super heavy uh one of the other clutch things about it is that it's not hard to move around um and then the last thing in this front zipper pocket i just keep all of my toe warmers uh and other little things like that i have blood flow issues when it gets cold out to my toes so literally every time i'm skiing it doesn't matter i'm wearing toe warmers on my socks in my ski boots uh yeah it's great, it's huge, it's well organized. If I have a job, like last year I had a job filming skiing stuff where I had to pull all of my stuff into one of the buildings at a resort, this entire bag just went in with me. And as the day changed, I was able to change things out. Worked beautifully, makes it easy. I can zip it up and carry it around however I need to. I can throw my boots on the top of it when it's zipped closed. Um, it works out well. Um, if you have questions about this or other think tank bags, leave a comment down below. If you have questions about uh, other things you'd like to see me talk about, whether it's skiing outdoors or camera related, leave a comment or hit me up on Instagram at Simon Eisenbach. Other than that, have a great week. See you guys next time.